Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I'm reviewing the last son of Zigbee sensor that I have got. Um, in previous videos I looked at the motion sensor, the switch and the temperature sensor and this time this is the Zigbee window and door sensor. This is a very small battery operated device and as the name suggests, well, it is a contact or an open and closed sensor. So you have the sensor and you have a magnet and the device can detect whether these two are next to each other or apart from each other. And actually this device and the review is going to be very similar to one of my recent reviews because there are two different door and window sensors from Sonoff. There is this one which is the SNZB04, that's the Zigbee version, so it requires a Zigbee bridge to operate. But there is the DW2 as well which looks a little bit bigger and uh, but otherwise it has the same functionality and that can connect directly to the Wi-Fi. <coughs> There are advantages and disadvantages between using this sensor and the Wi-Fi sensor. You can decide whether this unit is more suitable for application or the Wi-Fi version. Because this is a Zigbee sensor, this requires a Zigbee bridge in order to operate. So the Zigbee sensor talks to the Zigbee bridge. The Zigbee bridge operates uh, with the son of cloud services over the internet and that can operate some of the other devices. And because this is just a sensor, it doesn't really do anything i mean it doesn't actuate other devices cannot turn on your lamps so the idea behind this is that you have it fixed on your door or a window and then it can report whether the, the door or the window is opened or closed and within the ev link app we can set up scenes so whenever these actions or trigger happen some other son of devices get controlled for example a light gets switched on and if you are new to the whole zigbee ecosystem then I recommend that you watch my Zigbee introduction video first, which you can look at here, and you've also find the link in the video description and also in the cards. There is not much to be said about this device. The sensor unit and the magnet are both keyed, so this is how you should align them. And according to the instruction, you can allow 10 millimeters of gap in between the device. So if the distance between the two is 10 millimeters, it will still detect it as closed. And if I open this up, there is nothing really inside. This is just a plastic case. And it's quite difficult to get it open but as you can see there is nothing in it it's just a piece of magnet so if you need a slightly smaller footprint than this you can just use any magnet for the sensor part and i'm going to test it with a few magnets a little bit later and on the actual sensor we again have a tab and i can open the device up and we can see that the whole pcb actually falls off and it is powered by a CR2032 coin cell and it has the sensor here and it also has a push button which can also be operated from the hole on the top and this is just to get the device into pairing mode. There is not much to be said about the box and the contents just like any Zigbee device this also comes in an orange box and uh, within the device um, as I mentioned you are getting two halves you are getting this QC pass leaflet you are also getting two separate sticky tapes and a multi-language instruction manual which tells you how to remove the battery tab and how to get into pairing mode and it comes in a few languages. I'm back with my favorite test board and as you can see here I have the Zigbee door and window sensor. This is the Zigbee bridge so these are how they communicate with each other and that communicates to the cloud and I'm going to use the 4CH to actually set up some scenes to show you how you can get the door and the window sensor to operate one of the switches. And if you look at the app itself, we can see all the devices. I have the Zigbee door and window sensor. And if I go into the details, it shows that it is closed. Funny enough, in the main screen, it says it's opened. It looks like based on my experience is that for some reason this screen doesn't get updated as quickly as the detail screen when, as you go in. I mean as you can see it's uh, uh, 1445 so it was only two minutes ago when I opened it so this screen obviously shows you the up-to-date information but for some reason this doesn't. And because the sensor and the magnet is close to each other obviously it shows that the uh, door or the window is open and if I remove it, move it further apart then after some time actually we could already see that uh, there was a signal sent because well of course it could have been some of my other zigbee sensors but as i move this apart then we could see this one blink so there was some message going from one of the sensors to the zigbee bridge saying that the status has changed 
and we just have to wait until it updates on the screen as well. It might not be the fastest one, it might be that the system, okay, so the system has already noticed that it's opened, but um, again, it could be something with this uh, screen refresh. And actually, as I mentioned before, since this is only a magnet, and if you don't want to use these sort of like bigger, you know, plastic box in your window or a drawer, you can just use a, like a simple magnet to actuate the device. So I'm just going to move it here. And then again, hopefully after a couple of seconds, we will see that the device is now closed. And it is closed now. If we go into device settings by clicking on the three dots on the top right, we can see that we have uh, options to change the name of the device, assign the location. So if we move this device around the house, uh, then we can just uh, simply change the room location. We can also receive push notification. So those would be system messages when the door is opened or closed. You can't influence whether you want a push notification or opening or closing. So most probably you will receive a notification for all of them. Just like now how I received the notification that the door sensor is open. But that's pretty much all you can do. I mean, this is a sensor. It doesn't directly control anything in itself. So we have to set up some scenes in order to do that. So let's look at a few sample scenes. And I think for that, I'm going to use the 4CH and I'm going to use channel one. So the first thing is, it would be very simple. If I open the door, then the light should come on. And if I close the door, then the light should go off. So maybe this could be like a pantry where you, you know, you open, you walk in and as you leave the room and you close the door, you want the lights to automatically go off. So I go over to the scene, I click on plus, and in the triggers I click add, smart device, Zigbee door sensor, and well, it says on or off here, I'm, I'm guessing this should be really open or closed. So I'm going to select on and save, and on the other side, again, smart device, 4CH, and I want to turn channel one on. So I save, save, and save this one as well. And I give it a name like door opened. And I save. <laughs> yeah, and when because the door is open uh, and I've just created this new scene, it has already triggered. So the door is now open. I haven't created anything to close this. So even if I move the sensor close to the device, nothing is going to happen. Uh, well, actually I've received the push notification. Yeah, the door is closed now. So I need to set up a new scene. So plus again, add trigger, smart device, Zigbee door, off, save, uh, plus on the actions, smart device, 4CH, channel one and off. And save and save here and save here as well. And this will be door closed and if I save, then it automatically turns off. So everything is working. So let's check again. So if I move it apart, then it turns on. And if I use a single magnet, then we can see how far the detection works. Okay, so it looks like this small, small magnet is too small. Oh no, no, it actually worked. Okay, no, so it, it looks like that there is a sp sweet spot, but that magnet is probably too small. So if I use a bigger magnet, then obviously it works. Oops, it works way too much. I think that's probably the metal in the battery case. But I guess you get the idea. And of course, if you want to create a slightly different scene, for example, that uh, this 4CH or this son of device controls a fan, then maybe you want it to work the other way around. So when this opens, so when you open the door and the window, then you close the fan or you shut off the fan. It could be an AC as well, but to be honest, you can't really control an AC with, with a simple main switch because most of the ACs, you know, even if you cut the power and you reintroduce the power, still need the remote to get the uh, AC up and running. So that wouldn't be ideal. But for lamps, I think fans, this is a pretty good solution. And this concludes my review video of the Sonoff Zigbee window and door sensor. If you like this product, you can find purchasing links in the video description. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.